Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warban here, and thanks for tuning in to another how to install video on the channel today. Many of you have been commenting asking me to update some of my how to install videos as they are becoming quite dated, and I've decided to go back and revisit the Divide et Impera mod. My old how to install is well over a year old now, and the Divide et Impera team has come out with a couple of new updates since then, and we also have a new sub mod for Divide et Impera. It's the Alexander sub mod. So I will be showing you how to download the Divide et Impera mod plus the Alexander sub mod. The first part of the video will be covering how to install the Steam version, and the second part of the video will cover how to install the moddb.com version. And of course, there will be timestamps in the description down below, so you don't have to watch the entire thing. But let's go ahead and get started with the Steam version first. This first section of the video concerns the Steam users and how to install Divide et Impera on a Steam copy of Rome 2 Total War, and it's extremely easy to do. Just go into your game's library and look for Rome 2 Total War, and then start scrolling down on the main page until you see this button called Browse the Workshop. And if you click on that, in the search bar you can begin typing Divide et Impera, obviously making sure you do spell it correctly. And when you click on here, it's a little bit daunting because there are many different things for Divide et Impera, but the ones we're concerned about right now are the ones that are by Dresden. So you can see we've got Part 1 Dresden, Part 2 Dresden, and Part 3 by Dresden. And then here is the Alexander submod as well, so I'll be showing you how to download this as well. But you guys that have Steam copies, you're lucky because it's much easier to download mods using a Steam copy than it is to download a mod using the... Well, the non-Steam copy, basically. But if we go to Divide et Impera Part 1, click on this. And then we're just going to hit the subscribe button here. And it is going to tell you it requires Part 2 and Part 3. The submod is not required, but you can download it and play it basically whenever you want. It's just not required for the main game to work. So go ahead and click Continue. And you should see this downloads bar popping up in the bottom. If you do not see this downloads bar, nothing comes up and it does not download from the Steam Workshop. What I suggest you do is to close your Steam. And if it doesn't close, go into your task manager and make sure that it is closed. And then open Steam again. If that still doesn't work, then restart your PC and then load Steam up again. And you should see the downloads bar populate there. But we're not done. We still need part 2 and part 3. And they've added little links here for us to easily access them without going back into the uh, mods list so just click part two here and click subscribe as well and yes we already know it see it's checking the that you do have part one so that's good so click continue for part two same thing over here with part three scroll down and hit subscribe and then that is done so if we look over here it's just finishing the last bit of downloading there so that's part two, and then I think this is part three coming up, which is good. So while that's happening, we just need to back out to the main page. And if you do want this, just make sure to click on Divide et Impera Alexander. And then just make sure to subscribe to this. And again, very organized on the Steam Workshop tells you you must have these three parts of the mod first in order for this to work. But you can see actually, like the campaign map, it looks pretty cool. So it's basically like an Alexander campaign. Very cool. I actually might start my own campaign on this. Uh, when I have the time but go ahead and subscribe to that and again you'll see it downloading in the bottom and once that's all done you are ready to go so basically I'm not going to load this up yet because I still want to show you guys uh, the non steam how to install but I'm just going to show you if we do click on Rome uh, Rome 2 Total War Emperor Edition and you go to the mod manager you should see them here uh, so here we go you can see Divide et Impera Part 1 Part 2, Part 3, and Divide et Impera Alexander. And you can actually sort them too so that uh, they kind of line up a bit. There we go. And then you can put the submod maybe lower down. But all you have to do basically, you don't really need these here. But if you do want to play this, you just have to make sure that all four of these are selected. Or if you don't want to play the Alexander mod, just make sure that these three are selected. And then hit play and it will work for you. But I'm not going to load in yet. We'll load in at the very end of the video to show you that it's working. But now we need to go and make sure that we show our non-Steam users how to install this mod as well. So let's go ahead and head over to moddb.com. Now 
Now, this part of the video is for all these users who do not have a Steam copy of Rome 2 Total War, or in effect, the non-Steam users. And unfortunately, your way is going to be a little bit more complicated than the Steam users version. Steam users are very spoiled when it comes to downloading mods. Literally, they just have to click one button and it downloads and extracts and installs the pack directly into the correct folder for them. So for you guys, you're going to have a little bit more manual labor than that. But I hope you guys have heard of ModDB.com before. It's a site that I use for a lot of my how-to install videos, and it is the one that we're going to be getting the Divide et Impera files from today. So in your Google search bar, just type in ModDB.com. It's just this right at the top. And then once you hit enter, it will bring you to this page. And at the top in the search tab, we just need to type in Divide et Impera. And it's going to be the first one to pop up. So just go ahead and click on that. And here in the articles, it has a ton of information about what the mod is all about, the overhaul systems that it entails, new income and building effects, they've got new factions, new units, political system overhauls, the list just goes on and on. So you guys can read that on your own time, but we're going to be heading over to the files tab here. And we've only got two parts to download for the main one. The Steam version was three. So we've got part one, part two, and the Alexander submod. And you can see they were all updated on close to the same day. So the, the part one and two main base were on August 4th. And then 10 days later, on August 14th, the uh, Alexander submod was released. So just go ahead and right click and open part one, right click and open part two, and right click and open the Alexander submod. And that way we have all three here ready for download. And you can see that part one is very, very small, so it shouldn't take too long to download this. Just go ahead and click download now. And it should pop up in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. I highly recommend that you guys use Google Chrome for this as Internet Explorer kind of blocks some of these files from actually downloading from the site moddb.com. Internet Explorer is very paranoid and it thinks that everything is a virus. So Google Chrome is the way to go. Move over to part two and again, do the same thing. You can see it's a little bit larger. So depending on your internet speed, it may take a little bit longer for it to download. And don't close this window until it pops up because sometimes it actually cancels the download. There we go. And then we just need to do the sub mod, which is again is a pretty small file. So again, just click download now. And here it comes. So this, these are the three files that you will need. And as I said, depending on how fast your internet is, it may take up to 10 minutes for this part to download. It's almost a gigabyte in size. So we'll go ahead and just pause the video here. And once everything is downloaded, we'll uh, get started with the actual installation process. All right, so you should have three completed files in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And if they look just like mine with the three little stack books on top, you are golden. But there are a few more things that you may need to download before we move on. If it doesn't look like mine, and it's basically just a blank piece of paper instead of having the little uh, stacked books logo, you probably don't have any extraction software downloaded. But don't worry, I have a link in the description down below on where you can download Rinrare for free. So go ahead and get that downloaded right now. And also, as I said before, Steam users are very spoiled, and we actually already have a built-in mod manager. And what a mod manager does is it allows us to select and deselect mods as we please. So I can select the mods to do today at Impura and then play it, and then the next time I load up the mod manager, I can deselect them and then play the vanilla game. For you guys, you're going to need an external mod manager. You don't have the luxury of already having one built into the game. And if you don't have one yet, Look in the description down below and right underneath the WinRare uh, download, there is a download for a external mod manager. I'm not going to show you how to download it or use it per se today because we're mostly focusing on Divide and Pura. But if you would like a how to install for the mod manager and maybe a little bit of a tutorial on how to use it, I can definitely look at doing that in the future. But pause the video here and make sure that both of those things are downloaded before we continue. But if you've got both of those, you've got your three files, then we are set to go. So I've left all of these open here. And the reason being is because I want to make sure that these file sizes are complete in our downloads folder. So if we go into our downloads folder, uh, depending on if you have like Windows 7, 8 or 10 or whatever, it may be a little bit different. But uh, you can see we've got part one, part two, and the Alexander. So part one, we'll take a look at that. You can see at the bottom, 34.7 megabytes. 34.7 megabytes, so that's perfect. 
looking at part two here, we've got 976.9. So back to the downloads folder, 976. So that's perfect. And then same thing, Alexander, 109. And yeah, 109. So we know that they are completely downloaded, which is perfect. So now what we need to do is open a new window and we need to find your your uh, Rome 2 Total War folder. So you can just literally click, if you only have one drive here, just click on the local C. If you don't know where it is, just type in Rome 2, hit enter, and it will start looking for it for you. But if you do know where it is, it's probably, it's probably in your Program Files 86 folder, and it's hovering around here. I don't know if it would be in a Sega folder or not. I think Rome 2 was still made by Sega, if I'm not mistaken. So it may be in a Sega folder but you'll kind of have to do a little bit of searching if you don't know exactly where it is. But mine's in my Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Rome 2. So this is the folder you're looking for. So once you find this, double click on it and then go to the data folder. And this is the folder where all three of these files need to be dropped in. So let's go ahead and double click part one and it will ask you to buy, but you can use it for free, just close it. And then select both of these and drag it into the data folder. There we go, it doesn't really take too long. And then we need to do the same to the second one, so open part two. Again, it will ask you to buy, just exit. Drag both of those over. And this one will take a little bit longer because this was the largest pack, so it is going to take a bit of time to extract. I don't know, maybe two to three minutes or so. But then the Alexander pack is going to be a total breeze because it's a very, very small pack. And as I said, you don't actually need the Alexander pack for play or for playing the base game. It's not necessary. It's basically a sub mod, so you can just play the vanilla Divide and Para, or if you want to play the sub mod, you can play that too. It's totally up to you. If you aren't even interested in Alexander, you don't even have to al download the Alexander uh, pack. It's it's totally up to you. It's just while I'm showing you how to download Divide and Para, I might as well show anyone who might be interested how to download the Alexander pack. But there we go, looks like it's just about done. And then same thing with the Alexander pack here. Again, it'll ask you to pay, just say no, and drop that in as well. And there you go. So you can see here, if I can select all three of them, so there are your are your three packs. So the white piece of paper is the actual pack and this one is like the photo icon for it basically. So you'll have six files in total. All right, so go ahead and close all of that. And then we can go to the, uh, the desktop and this is the mod manager that you should have from the link in the description. Now what you need to do is right click on this and hit run as administrator because sometimes it doesn't open and this actually takes forever to open. So I'm going to actually show you guys how long it takes because it's pretty ridiculous, but don't keep double clicking it and double clicking it and double clicking it because eventually when it does open, it's going to open like five or six different ones. So many of you may think that it's not even working at this point, but it totally is. There also is a 3.0 version of this mod manager. This is very, very important. The 3.0 mod manager does not work. I have the link to the 2.0 mod manager and that is the one that works for uh, for basically the Total War games. Uh, 3.0 has never worked for me. It's never worked for anybody in the comments section of my how to install videos. So I would just stay away from it completely. Just uh, do the 2.0 version. But this is what I'm talking about. It literally takes so long to open. And if I actually open my task manager for you guys and drag it over. See, there it goes. That I didn't even do anything, but it's finally dropped in. It wasn't there, and then it's finally loaded up. And basically why it takes so long, it may take less time for you, but it's because I have a lot of... I actually have a lot of mods for Total War Attila, and this is the... Uh, the default game that it, it that it picks when it loads up. So it might be loading all of these mods, which is what takes so long. So it may take a little bit less time for you, but if it's taking forever, just give it time. Okay, so now we need to just go over to game and click Rome 2. And this is going to take, again, depending on how many mods you have, it will take quite a bit for it to come up. But here you go, they're all here. So you just need to select part one, part two, and the Alexander submod. If you don't want to play the Alexander submod, just click one and two, and then click launch. 
Or if you want to play it, just have all three selected and click launch. Now, I'm not going to do it this way because I have a mod manager through Rome 2. And uh, for those of you guys that have never seen it, I'm going to show you it now. But we're done with the install portion for non-Steam users, so you guys can stop the video if you want. All I'm going to do now for the benefit of Steam users and non-Steam users is load up the mod and show you guys that it actually works. But I'm just going to close this down here. Because I, when I click on Rome 2... I have my own mod manager. So see if I click this. I've, I've already got one. So I don't want to screw with my compatibility here by launching it through there. But um, I have it twice in here. That's right, because I'm showing you guys how to do it twice. Okay, so let me quickly get rid of that. So that I don't confuse myself. Common room to data. And let me get rid of all these non-Steam ones. And I'm probably going to have to reload this. Because I've installed it twice. I've installed it for the Steam users and the non-Steam users. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so we've got Divide et Impera 1, 2, and 3. Don't freak out for those of you who are non-Steam users. The Steam version was three parts. The non-Steam was two parts. Go ahead and deselect all of these other mods. So that's all I have to do to select my mods, and then I click play. So I'm going to switch over my recording software real quick, and we're going to jump into the actual campaign, quickly load a battle to show you both work, and then we're going to end the how to install. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome to Divide et Impera, the Alexander submod. And if you chose not to download the Alexander submod, instead of having Alexander the Great as your main menu screen, you'll probably have the Divide et Impera logo on the backdrop of a Roman city. But it looks like it is working, so let's go ahead and jump into the Alexander campaign just so I can prove that it does work. And once we jump into the campaign, I'm going to do one end turn to show you it doesn't crash on end turns. And then we're going to jump into one battle as well to prove that the battles are working too. And that will be a successful how to install, so I'll see you guys on the campaign map. Alright, so we're just going to quickly jump through things here. So it looks like I will have an opportunity for a battle in two turns time here. So let's move up here. Quickly just build something. Don't Come care. <laughs> it's just a how to install, not playing the campaign. Very good. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle. No end turn crash. And let's jump into this battle as well. start deployment and start the battle we've got all our units here we can just move them forwards but that is pretty much everything guys so thank you so much for watching i really hope this was helpful and informative i look forward to hearing in the comments down below if you guys were successful or not and if you do have any issues do leave a comment down below and i will try and help you uh, to the best of my abilities and as quickly as possible but thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one.